what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Why are y'all always messing with Aisha Curry? Aisha is now denying reports that she went under the knife to achieve her new body. She says she's been in the gym for months, getting herself fit, but Twitter isn't buying it. I'm down 35 pounds, very happy to be. I spent my entire twenties having babies, nursing babies. Now it's my turn to nurse myself. Mommies need love too. Been in the gym since January, heavy hit, hella cardio, floor work, and changed my entire diet, except for Sundays. You know what it is. We'll share more soon, she wrote. Okay, what's wrong with that? Apparently, a lot to some people. They feel that Aisha is a hypocrite for shaming women who posted similar pics them in various stages of undress. Back in 2015 on social media, she went in on them. She said, everyone's into barely wearing clothes these days, huh? Not my style. I like to keep the good stuff covered up for the one who matters. So what changed? That body. Aisha got body, got that body back. And she wants to flaunt it. Now, let's address the hypocrisy. Aisha shaming the women who posted a few years back their pics in various stages of undress, who got a lot of attention good or bad, it reminds me of how people, some people, are when it comes to rap. I remember early on, a lot of people couldn't stand rap music. Well, they say they couldn't stand it until they were able to make a profit off of it. I remember going to the clubs, DJs would not play hip hop at all. They would not play hip hop on the radio. As hip hop became a thing, people figured out a way to monetize it and they started caring. Even the record stores, they started putting the rap music closer to the front. Rap music used to be like almost hidden in record stores. Even on a personal level, people who listen to music, they would always be against rap music. And then their son or their daughter started rapping. Next thing you know, they're bragging about rap. They're listening. Why? Because they now have something to gain from rap music. So it could be argued that Aisha now has something to gain from her body being fit. You know, she's fit now. So she has something to gain by showing off her body. Like many of the women who show off their body on social media, for good or bad. Listen, as she said, you know, she worked hard to get her body to where it is. I can't blame her for showing it off. I can't blame people for calling her a hypocrite, but I definitely can't not blame her for whipping herself into shape and wanting to show it off and get the compliments so that, you know, it kind of lift her spirits and make her feel wanted. You know, I get it. She's not the only woman that's like that. Women who have nice bodies like to show their bodies off, even if they don't do it all the time. They're going to do a photo shoot. Get ready, fellas. If your woman 
has been out of shape for a while and she go out there and get in shape. Oh, she's about to do a photo shoot with barely nothing on. That's coming. Now, y'all gonna have to have a conversation. Are these pics going to be put on social media or are these pics just for us? Or me? That conversation must be had. The moment you see her sign up for a gym membership, you better have that conversation or you gonna have problems. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>